All right, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there is a free 14-day trial period you can sign up for. Not only do you get access to the software, but you also get access to the advanced order flow webinars and other uh, educational resources. Uh, and um, the idea here is that uh, in this webinar here, we go through platform functionality and then just basics, what Bookmap is showing you, uh, and then um, uh, some of the order flow uh, analysis that alludes to what we go through in more of the uh, advanced uh, order flow analysis webinars. Okay, so um, uh, the the idea here is to uh, seg uh, segment uh, those that are, uh, have questions on the platform and those that have questions more on uh, using Bookmap that are current clients uh, in either in trial or uh, current customers. Okay, and, uh, and we'll look very specifically at the order flow. All right, uh, let's see here. Let's go to bookmap.com, uh, scroll up to the top here, uh, and uh, we'll click on Explore. Okay, there's an intro video right here, as you can see. Uh, we'll go down further. This is just about Bookmap and gives you basic overviews of benefits, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, some testimonials. Uh, there's Bookmap for equities here. Uh, to uh, uh, connect to the NASDAQ total view. Uh, if you have any uh, uh, equities you want to take a look at, let me know, and uh, we, can, we, can, uh, uh, we can do that. Or I have a list here, but uh, we can look at some equities. Uh, connectivity, this is important. Um, uh, Bookmap is a software platform. Uh, we are not a data provider, so you will need uh, a data provider or broker uh, that offers one of these data feeds. Uh, that's how you'll connect Bookmap uh, to the live markets. Okay, so here's the 14-day trial uh, in the pricing page here, and um, uh, there's one version of Bookmap. There's Bookmap Basic. Okay, and um, you get the 14-day trial period. It's 49 per month. is billed quarterly. All right. Now the advanced is um, uh, the Bookmap Basic plus uh, the ability to trade live from the from the chart uh, in Bookmap. And um, the uh, proprietary indicators that we have created uh, for the um, uh, that go over the order flow that Bookmap is is displaying, all right? To to you know something uh, very specific. It's not your typical RSI or MACD, et cetera. We're looking at very specific things like where are the larger players? Uh, we can read the order book and we can look for that. Uh, icebergs, where are icebergs uh, on the chart, okay? Imbalances in the volume and in the order book uh, and correlations as well, okay? Quants, you can reach out to us here if you have very specific needs, let us know. Uh, you can follow us here on Twitter uh, under uh, at bookmap underscore pro and then uh, on the um, vid video uh, or YouTube page here. You can look at uh, all of the videos. There's some intro videos here for those of you who are new. And then uh, we have features and components uh, for those of you who um, uh, want to uh, get familiar with exactly um, some of the uh, features, components, how they work. Uh, and then these video snippets here. Now these just go through understanding the order flow. Right Now it, this is similar to what we go through in the uh, advanced webinars. Okay. That said, you can scroll down here a little bit further, and you can get a, a peek into some of the advanced webinars that are recorded here. Okay, from back in in August. All right. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at Bookmap. Uh, and um, we uh, we had the uh, oil uh, inventories here uh, just a couple minutes ago. So I want to zoom out here and take a look. See what this looks like. Okay. A little volatility. Not not uh, not too much though. Um, so, uh, anyway, yeah, let, let's, I'm just, I'm just curious. Uh, let's take a look at the, maybe the numbers here, uh, what, um, kind of numbers we had on that. All right. Crude inventories. Okay. So, uh, uh, we should, um, uh, and we see it's at uh, at 0.9, where negative uh, uh, 2.6 million barrels was the uh, expected. 
All right, uh, anyway, um, one of the things that Bookmap shows so nicely uh, is just um, the, uh, <laughs> well, there's three things that Bookmap shows here in this chart, okay, for those of you who are new here, okay. There, uh, this is historical best bid and offer. Uh, that's the uh, the price that you see here. And there's no candlestick. There's no derivative of time, price, or, or volume. It's just price. Uh, and every single bid and offer. Uh, so if there's a spread, you'll see the spread. Um, and um, so that's uh, what you're seeing here. This is true price uh, with historical best bid and offer. And the dots that you see here are volume that trade on the historical best bid and offer. Right, I'll get into the volume in just a minute. Uh, and then the uh, what you see here is uh, with the grayscale heat map, it's liquidity uh, in the market. It's the limit order book that you see over here. Uh, this COB column, uh, this is the current order book or the dome uh, in book map. Okay? Uh, at these price levels, these are limit orders with traders that are lined up to, to uh, offer uh, at uh, uh, above uh, price right now and then uh, below price okay this is the dome uh, we take that dome information and we transpose it onto the chart historically so we can see very very clearly all of these areas of high liquidity okay uh, what's so interesting about all of this uh, is um, the transparency in the market that it gives all right uh, look look here at uh, just before 10 30 uh, we can see here uh, right in this area very very clearly here uh, how they're starting to pull liquidity okay before the uh, oil inventories right and look how it got dark in this area here right uh, and that's why we get volatility uh, it, it makes perfect sense well why why is there such erratic moves uh, when uh, uh, there's uh, there's news well it's because traders don't know what the news is and they don't want to assume the risk Okay, so they'll pull their liquidity that is close to the market because they're not going to take the risk. When there is less liquidity in the market, as you can see here, when it gets dark, uh, the uh, the market will explore uh, those areas where it can trade, where it does find liquidity, okay, or traders. Uh, and you can see we came down into this area here uh, at 52.10. Now these guys pulled their liquidity here at 52.10. Uh, but um, uh, we didn't go down further. Uh, we didn't even go to 52.10. It looked. Nah, we actually did test there. Okay. Uh, and then um, that was it, though. And the market uh, went to the other side to find liquidity on the offer. Okay. So anyway, uh, to further explain, um, you know, w what I'm what I'm discussing here, uh, let's uh, let's take a step back and uh, go through uh, just by showing some candlesticks here. Uh, taking off all of these other layers of information, uh, and then we'll explain each one as we go through. Okay, take off the indicators. Uh, this is something new we have on the candlesticks. It's a new feature uh, to be able to show the um, uh, uh, VWAP of each candle. All right, so I'm going to take that off too, just so we don't have the distraction. And let's zoom out a little bit more. Okay. We also have an indicator subchart here uh, showing the cumulative volume delta, but I'm going to I'm going to close that. So we're just looking at the candlesticks. Okay. That's it. Uh, and um, so we get an understanding of uh, uh, you know the, a five minute period here. Uh, open high, low, close. Uh, we see the wicks and we see the body. It gives us clues to uh, pressure buying pressure and selling pressure in the market, okay? However, there is so much data here that we just don't see, uh, and that's a problem uh, because we're making financial trading decisions uh, with uh, very opaque data here. Uh, in fact, it's kind of like reading tea leaves. Uh, we really don't know uh, where traders, for example, uh, are trading on these candlesticks. We have no clue. Uh, we have a volume subchart here, but it's not giving us much information. It's just showing spikes in volume. It's not showing where on the candlestick, where in the range, uh, how much uh, volume traded, and um, uh, what type of volume it was. Okay? We have none of that information. Okay? We also, since it's aggregating in a back and forth in a five-minute period, uh, we also have no insight to 
some of the microstructures that occurred within those periods. Okay. So let's, we're going to turn that on and we're going to be able to see that microstructure. And this is a nice advantage. Okay, we're, we're able to understand uh, where price kind of goes sideways for a little bit within a five minute period or with any period here. Okay, so for example, down at this, this uh, low here, okay, I'm going to click on this uh, move tool here. I'm going to hover over this area and we'll zoom in really quickly with my center mouse wheel. Okay, so we can see that here's five minutes of, of data and another five minutes here. Uh, and uh, we see wicks on both sides. But really what's going on here uh, within this little microstructural range here uh, is um, we can see that um, we traded down below. We made lows and we traded here back and forth for a bit. Okay, we're going to see buyers come in at this point. Okay, they lifted the offer. They pulled uh, the um, uh, they pulled price up out of this small micro range. In fact, it's, it's it looks like a little head and shoulders here, uh, reverse head and shoulders, uh, and we can see the tests here. What we're probably going to see is some volume here, selling volume uh, at some of these lows, and then we we'll probably see none here or very little, uh, and then we're going to see green uh, big volume dots here pulling price back up. OK, so uh, that all of that information in that microstructure, it's um, important. Uh, it gives us insight and it's a problem that the candlestick doesn't uh, display. So let's uh, let's turn on the volume. Okay, let me turn this off. Oops, not this one. Um, this one. OK. All right. And let me make these dots a little bit bigger here. So we have something distinct to look at. Okay. All right. Well, uh, here, here it is. This is what this pattern looks like. Okay. We see more volume in selling. Okay. This is what we were uh, anticipating uh, trading at these lows here. Okay. And we see it. Uh, and, uh, and then we start to note that, uh, well, we see here with this dot, uh, more volume starting to come in on the buy side, more green. Okay. Uh, and then you can see the retest here and look at the selling down here. Okay, very little. Okay, markets exhausting exhausting out on the sell side. Uh, and we start to note here when we pull up out of that micro range, uh, here's where the uh, the buyers step in, and uh, and and here's the uh, the green pulling the market up, and yet again over here, uh, and then we're going to see it again in these areas here. All right, so we're starting to understand the behavior of the aggressor uh, in the uh, in the market. And what do I mean by the, ingress, the aggressor? So we're going to zoom into this dot here, and I'm going to show you, OK? OK, note how when I start to zoom in, uh, I start to pull apart all of this trade activity. Okay? And I'm showing you here every single event. And you know what? Let me get rid of this line here because uh, it's distracting. OK. Now we're zoomed in here and we're looking at uh, the micro second level. Okay, we're looking at millions of seconds here. All right, and we can see exactly what occurred here. All right, in fact, this is uh, uh, we're looking at some algorithmic activity. We can see it. Okay, look at this little buying cluster like one, two, three, another one, two, three, and another one, two, three. All right, so they're they're lifting the offer with aggressive. Uh, uh, buying. What do I mean by aggressive buying? These are market orders, these green dots. Okay, they're hitting the market buy button. Uh, that's how this algo is executing. Okay, and it's taking liquidity off of the best offer here. That's the red line. Uh, the green line here, uh, this is the best bid. And we see that there is, uh, there's no selling here on the best bid. Okay, it's all aggressive buying. All right, so and we can continue to zoom in. We can look at like nanosecond levels if we uh, if we choose. Now we don't trade off of nanosecond levels, right? Maybe uh, if you're trading uh, algorithmically, maybe you want to look at that. Maybe you want to see exactly how your algorithm is performing. It's up to you. But note how as I zoom back out, we're aggregating all of this into one big dot. Okay. Now, if I, I can use the data tip tool, hover over this area, and I get the date, the time, what was on the offer, 
uh, and then uh, the volume here. So this is for volume of 74 at this 52.15 level. I'll zoom in a little bit more, and you can see as I spread out all of these trades, uh, I, I hover over this one. Well, this one looks like it's one individual trade here for volume of 17. All right. So we have every single event that took place, but we're also giving you the overall aggregate when you zoom in. All right. Now there's some selling that occurred here. Uh, and uh, and you can see it with the red dot on the best bid, the red dots. Okay, now, as I zoom out and compress the timeline down here, note how this turns into a, a pie display of the volume uh, that took place at this uh, very specific time. Okay, we're still at the uh, uh, millisecond level here, so we're looking at thousands of seconds. Uh, and um, uh, in fact, um, uh, this between here and here is basically half a second, uh, these two vertical dashed lines. And, um, it, you know, there's a couple of eye blinks basically within half a second, a little bit, a little bit more time than that, actually. All right. So uh, we're, we're showing you uh, all of this trade data, uh, giving you the very specific, precise data but uh, we're also aggregating it just graphically and visually as we zoom back out, all right? So that's the volume, uh, and um, we're showing you where it took place, how much, and the overall delta here, right? So we can see that there was more buying than selling here, okay? And here's our little head and shoulders pattern that we're looking at, uh, and we can see the uh, the aggressor take, take charge right here with the buying, okay? And uh, it led to this move. This is the kind of insight that we look at in the uh, in the live webinars every day. Okay, we're looking for this kind of behavior. We're anticipating this kind of behavior, uh, and um, uh, and you'll be able to uh, to see it uh, as uh, uh, you become more familiar uh, with understanding it, right, and what to look for. Okay, so. That's just the traded volume, uh, and you can see that um, uh, since we um, are not aggregating this data, uh, and you can zoom in, uh, un unlimited zoom basically, uh, you're getting an advantage over a footprint chart as well. Okay? Because the footprint chart, uh, although you know it, it displays all of the uh, data where it took place uh, at that specific price level, which is good information, but it, it will it's it's showing you on an aggregate. All right, and, and usually it's on a, on a bar, uh, maybe a candle rotation or just a, a, a time or volume bar. It's still aggregation though, okay? And we're not doing that here, uh, in, but only, only graphically or visually when you start to zoom out. But you see the microstructure and then how the volume plays within that microstructure. And that's the advantage that you're getting here. All right, uh, now the, um, uh, understanding the, the a whole nother side of the uh, order flow, uh, and that is what's happening actually outside of price here. Okay, where are they bidding and where are they offer, offering? And we usually um, access that data in a dome. Okay, we see the uh, the depth here on the offer and the depth on the bid. Okay, and we have best bid and offer here. Okay, this is the mar live market window as well. Okay, this is best bid and offer, and this is your last traded volume here. All right, so understanding the depth of market is important. We want to understand, uh, you know, how this affects price. Uh, we see that there's 220 contracts up here at, at 52.35. Okay, uh, and um, it gives us understanding to where traders are lined up to trade. Uh, and, uh, and that gives us a lot of insight. Now the problem with a dome is that that insight is gone once uh, these numbers change. Okay, once uh, they add or pull liquidity here, we no longer have that data. It's not recorded. You'd have to remember it. All right, uh, and that's uh, that's the problem with the dome. So uh, what how Bookmap solves that issue is by showing you in the heat map. Okay, so we take this data here in the um, limit order book in the dome, uh, and then we paint it in this window here in a heat map. All right, so bright uh, areas are high liquidity. Okay, and uh, other areas where it's a little darker, uh, it's uh, less liquidity, okay, in the grayscale. 
And now where it gets interesting is we record this data and project it onto the chart historically. Okay, we can see it here. Uh, and um, we can see the behavior now of these players because it's all recorded. And we get an understanding of their intent to trade, okay, in the auction. So are these guys, do they really want to trade up here? And um, it's uh, it's up for debate. Um, you know, they're they're adding and pulling. They're not really staying in uh, in the market. Okay, and um, uh, they they were here as price came back up. You can see the striations. This is the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, and then they pulled most of it. Uh, and um, we trade into this area, but uh, I'm, I'm imagining imagining some of it uh, traded, but uh, some of it was pulled. Uh, and then uh, and then we reverse to the other side here. Okay, and then they jump back in. These the majority of these players here at this 52.35. Okay, well, it looks like uh, we might be pretty poised here to uh, come up and test them right now. So we'll see uh, if they're in the book or not when we come up to this area. Okay, let's turn off the candles at this time, uh, and um, and uh, we'll 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 take a look and see if uh, see if these guys get tested here. All right. So that's the uh, the heat map, uh, the liquidity, and um, uh, understanding the volume and the, and the microstructure and the historical best bid and offer. And that's basically it. That's what Bookmap's showing you. It's not a it's not a derivative of time, price, or volume. It's no study of it. It's just the market. And uh, uh, we're giving it to you in a very, very objective manner, okay, just graphically and visually. Now, you can get all the, the, the numbers and data using this data tip tool and hovering over these areas. Uh, or you can also look at some of the uh, uh, columns that we have here that give you volume. Uh, and then if I right click in this column, you can see there's other different um, or, or different data types. We can look at volume. We can look at the current order book. We can look at trade counter. So trade volume, number of uh, trades that took place, quotes counter. So number of quotes that were refreshed, the delta of the quotes. Uh, the number of contracts that are added or pulled. We have custom notes uh, and time and sales. All right, so uh, we've got uh, many different uh, features here uh, to look at uh, um, uh, the uh, market. Uh, we also have a, um, a sub chart here that's showing the cumulative volume delta. Okay, it's just a very simple indicator uh, adding up the um, uh, volume here, uh, and um, uh, if it's a positive uh, or aggressive market buy, it's going to show it as a, a positive number, and then it's going to add that with uh, a sell volume, which is going to be a negative number. Okay, and uh, and then just plots it overall. So, uh, and there's many different studies here. You can see I have a couple different studies for CVD, uh, and uh, it very very configurable. All right. All right, well, that's crude. Uh, really no follow through whatsoever. Just uh, really back and forth here, and that's that's been it. Uh, usually this uh, this release here uh, gives us uh, some really nice moves, and um, it gets very, very erratic. I mean, we can see here if I scroll vertically by just uh, left click, hold, and drag in a column or on the price ladder. Look at them up here at, uh, at 52.50. We see this all the time. Look at 52 down here. Same thing. You can see where you can we can analyze the the behavior of larger players. They place their liquidity on the even numbers, and uh, this verifies it. Here they are at 52, and here they are at uh, at 50, 52, 50. All right, high liquidity. Uh, anyway, let's wrap it up, uh, and um, we'll. Um, See you in the, in the next webinar for those of you who are current customers. Uh, it's great to see you guys in here um, and uh, ask, ask questions. You know, I mean, this is uh, we're, we want to go through the functionality here uh, for you uh, in Bookmap and also what, what you're looking at and, and, uh, and how to read it. All right. But uh, uh, it, it's more about uh, just the basics. Uh, and then uh, we'll really dive into the order flow in the next webinar. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye.